Right, well, here we are in the car on a Sunday morning. Up bright, well, bright and early for me. It's before nine o'clock. I know most people, well, that's halfway through the day. But where are we off to? I'll tell you where we're off to. We're off to a car boot sale, which is what us bored people in England do on a Sunday morning. Because there's bound to be something there that I need. I don't know what, but it's gonna be something there I need. Either for, for my computer, for the garden, for the house, but there'll be another bit of rubbish that I'll buy and finish throwing it away. But the beauty of it is you're only paying pennies for it. Anyway, so we're off to the car boot sale, so we'll see you in a minute. Well, here we are. This is the boot fair, Cherry Tree Car Boot Fair or sale at Fakenham. So we're gonna pull in here. Oh, this oh, looks very busy, isn't it? Uh, Oh, how much they want? Oh, they want money. Yeah. Well, that's not. Oh, job vacancy. <laughs> I can get a job here. On a, well, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Hey, oh, I could come here and work here on a. Wow! Look at that motorbike the guys bought. I could come here and work here on a Saturday, on a Sunday morning, for three hours. Work. Yeah, from half past six to half past nine. Ring or see Brian on site and get a job. Look at that. So I could save fifty pence by getting a job. Good night. Yeah, my darling, thank you very much. Is it going to rain? No. And the lady tells me it's not going to rain. It's not supposed to rain. Not on any of that. Okay, then I'll go and park up. Have we got da somebody to direct me, have we, or not? Straight down. Straight down. Thank you very much. Well, this, this, is, a, this is a good boot fair. Because, look, what they've done, actually, the car park is right in the middle of the boot fair. And the boot fair bit, or the sale car boot fair bit, goes around the outside. So you don't have to walk far. It's... Uh, and it's all laid out. Well, it's not tarmac, but they put they put uh, gravel down. So uh, and look, the car lanes have got numbers. This is row number. Four. Look at that old, lovely old car there. That's car five. So shall we go car down six? There's no rush, is there today? Uh, now, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is going to go up here on car on, on the final row. And I'm going to turn round and just be on the end. There we go. Look at that, that's absolutely brilliant. You know me, I'm always different. I, I, I'll, I'll start, I'll start something different, so I'm gonna go back here. Look at that, we go back. Try not to run anybody down. Hey, good sir. That's it, drive forwards. Here we go. Are you, are you going out or you're, you're staying there? Okay then, that's all right, right. Okay, we're okay now. That's it, good. We're in. See you in a minute all folks. Be good, be happy. So walk round. Right, uh, here we are. We're parked up inside. We've just come out to outside. Now, as you can see, the uh, it is on the main road, which is absolutely brilliant, just outside Fakenham. And it, uh, you just uh, drive in here, and as, I, as you saw when I drive in, uh, there's a uh, young lady there that takes you 50 pence off you, which is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? But, uh, but it's very well supported. Just loads of people. And anyway, we're going to have a quick walk around. We're not going to have a look at everything, obviously, just a general look and see what type of stalls they have here. Um, what type of bargains? Right, we have here a sort of a, a nursery type place selling plants. Wow! Um, Lemon, basil, cabbage. I tell you what, they're not uh, they're not leave really ba badly priced, are they? Uh, cabbage, cabbage, fennel. Then. Beetroot, not even beetroot part, didn't we? Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, we got some rhubarb over here. What else have we got that I know about? Uh, oh, raspberry canes, one pound fifty each. They look good. You won't get no fruit on them this year, I don't think. But uh, if you wanted raspberry anyway, so there you go. Uh, don't think I've got any tomato plants. We always want tomato plants, don't we? Broad beans. A bit early for tomatoes because they do get. Uh, the, Attacked by the frost. <laughs> well, look at this there. This must be Mr. Battery Man. He's got more batteries here than batteries. But no matter what battery you want, I'm sure you'll find it. It's even got all these loads, all these loads of little ones. You know, that you fit your watches and your calculators and thingies. And he does uh, plants. Sweet peas. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Well, what a wonderful selection of bits and pieces here. If you can't uh, find something you don't want, 
Yeah. It's definitely here, isn't it? Loads of, old, loads of old tools and bits and pieces along here. Screws and drills and, well, I tell, tell you, trouble is you don't know you, I bet if you actually said you wanted something, you'd come in and look for it, you wouldn't find it. But you'd certainly find lots of other bits. Uh, uh, cutters. All right, ladies, Hello. you look cold. No. You all right, are you? You live <laughs> Is this a dream? This yeah. is a dream. It's the best dream of my life. <laughs> you must have a sad life, all Very I can say. Life. Life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear me. Well, look at that. That's the uh, biggest torch I've ever seen in my life before. Can you see the size of that thing? Dear me. I should think you'd be able to see a spaceship with that thing. We're about to be bird spotting. Well, let's say, what would you think? It's not a, it's not an eagle. It's a heron. There you go. If you want a heron for your garden, lovely little heron. You don't have to feed it. <coughs> More tools, bits and pieces, mole grips, and uh, spanners and bits and pieces. This, is, this does strike me as a, what I would call a proper car boot sale where it is people just selling their bits rather than you know, buying them from China and just reselling them which you do get at some car boot fairs now you get people that uh, you know, they just re, you know, buy and sell, buy and sell rather than just sell their bits uh, you know, if you're a buddy musician uh, we've got a couple of guitars there there we go, look at that okay three quarter size one and a four size one don't look bad do they mind you what do you 50 pounds that's a lot of money for a car boot sale isn't it really that's a lot of money 50 pounds at a foot at a car boot sale <laughs> anyway, what have we got over here again loads of tools again there's obviously a market in, in for tools and bits of cable, look. You, know, you, throw, you throw bits like that away, don't you? But there you go. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. Isn't that a saying? It is indeed. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, you join me, the Silver Hair Tourist, doing what any Silver Hair Tourist should do on a Sunday morning, which is visit a local boot fair. Uh, in England we have these, most, sun most of the times they're on a Sunday, believe it or not. Uh, start very early, about half past six in the morning. If you want the bargains, you have to get here that early because that's when you find them. But it is, it's now between about half past nine, ten o'clock, so most of the bargains are gone. I've had a good walk around. Have I found anything? No. But, did I want anything? No. So have I saved some money? Yes, because I haven't bought any rubbish, which is brilliant. But if, if, if you are in the Fakenham area in North Norfolk and you're here on a Sunday and you have nothing to do, this is definitely the place to come. Yeah, you come here, um, have a good walk around. There, and what I like about this boot fair, unlike most of them, it isn't full of traders. It's not for the people who bought all the stuff from China and just reselling. At least appear to be proper people that have had a good clear out of their shed and they're selling a load of rubbish, junk and things that uh, people don't want. But as, as my dad used to say to me, one man's rubbish is another man's treasure and the beauty of this place is over in the far corner I don't know if you can see it here on there there is a wonderful burger van that does sausage bite babs sausage sandwiches bacon sandwiches tea and coffee at reasonable prices so get yourself down there have a wonderful day out I think the boot fair runs from uh, sort of Easter through to the end of October it's up Fakenham it's just outside Fakenham it's a wonderful place to come only cost 50p to come in it's the most well organized boot fair I've ever seen so you never know, you might see me. If you see me, I'm the chap with the hat, with the funny jacket, and I am called the Silver Hair Tourist. See you later. Bye.